Hello, hello everybody. Today we are going to be continuing our Persona 3 Portable Adventures. Last time, I do believe, we managed to beat down the next full moon boss, which is actually a really cool one because it was a double boss, two enemies, and like one was weak to physical attacks, one was weak to the magic attacks, the elemental ones, and then they like swapped them up with special ability moves, so it's actually really cool. And we also got a potential new member, especially because her persona leveled up during all that, who I presume will be replacing Mitsuru as our scanner detector psychic. But uh, currently we are sick, which good thing that uh, Akihiko and Mitsuru are out visiting uh, Fuka because we wouldn't want to go to Tartarus right now. Because presumably after Mitsuru and Akihiko return, they'll probably hash things out and be like, ah, yeah, she'll join the team as the new sensor detector. And then we'll be able to head into Tartarus again. Presumably up to the third, like, area since presumably the barrier will be broken. But since I do believe we took out all the dialogue with them, we'll check out the mall, see if there's anything going on, make our habit of checking the bulletin board, nothing's posted. See if the monk is here, the monk is not here. Oh, what do you have to say? Fortune teller, I do believe you should have something new. Very well, I feel another change. A strong wind blows across the world, sending a blue flower's petals into the air. How will you interpret this wind? As a weak and frail breeze or a brave and mighty gust? Hmm. No, it's still the same from last time. Changed from the, like, tram one, though. I wonder what it means still. What is there, Game Panic? There's the quiz game. Because aside from Mitsuru, I don't know what stats are important for anything. Or if they really affect things right now. I am unaware. Unaware am I? We'll quickly check the Velvet Room, see if they've updated the thing, the not the compendium, but updated the request. There are new requests. Bring me a glasses swipe. Bring me a protein for pros. Would that be muscle milk? But 16, 20, and 27. I guess I'll go ahead and accept that one. And accept that one. And I just need to remember to talk to frickin' everybody. Let's see, protein for pros? Maybe that would be talk to Akihiko, because I think he's into boxing. Glasses swipe, no idea, maybe the chairman guy? will show up on 620. Christmas star, I have no idea. No idea whatsoever. But we'll have that ready to go. Let's see. Ah, we can work Wednesday night. And nobody is here, and I don't think... Because I don't want to spend too much of my money. We're quite poor right now. So I think, yeah, we will work part-time. I almost selected as a customer. I was almost a fool. We got free coffee. We dealt with the housewives. Granted, <laughs> just realized I went in there and worked... Well, sick. Phone call. Akihiko or Mitsuru? Oh, text message. 
because I forget. It's from Akiko. Fuka is being released from the hospital. We'll talk to her this evening. Come to the command room as soon as you get back. Ah, neat. Class has ended for the day. Go ahead and save. Just in case. I need to make sure I save each time here, too. We could hang out with Junpei. It's been a bit. So this girl last time gets the girl in white frilly clothes. One guy said she had red hair. We could hang out with Sayori, but it wouldn't be an upgrade. We might do that. Same thing still. What about you? Same thing there. Da, 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 da. Still love the music. It's so good. Might as well go in and get the courage boost. Feed me your concoction, nurse man of wizardry. Give it on to me. I wonder how they came up with this. Like, oh, you're feeling sick? Go to the nurse, but it won't do anything except increase your courage. You'd think after the third time of, like, going there, you wouldn't really get anything out of it. Like, you know how it's gonna go. You weren't gonna die. Da, 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 da. What do you gotta say? I'm getting bored of text messaging the same thing. Any change in the stalking situation? Does not seem to be. What about you? You've been pondering why this persimmon tree has been here for like three months, and I've yet to tell you. Ba, 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 ba. Well, I guess I shall look around the town, see who is available. Hello, old man. What do you have to say? Times have changed, but some things like school ghost stories never die. I used to sneak into the school grounds at night. The teachers would give me holy hell for it. How would you sneak in at night? Don't think I have anything planned here. Yeah, I need to hunt down golden, golden shadows. Need to remind myself of that. To slightly save scum for to at least get a chance at the golden shadows. If you go to the sound tree, yeah, the same thing. Anything new from you? Oh wait, yeah, was it? Nope. <laughs> Why would you name yourself after something you don't sell because it wouldn't be good? Makes no sense to me. I think he's the same thing about his friend adopted a cat, didn't buy him. Oh wait a minute, but we can go down that like sideway, right? Because I know one of these places has like, I forget exactly which one. It must be station then, because there's like, a side path that leads to the taxi guy and the girl that's like, eh, ah, my teacher is terrible. But I've completely forgotten how to get to it. Hmm. It's like it just disappeared. How do I even get here? Usually cabbies work night shifts. If I don't sleep during the day, when am I supposed to sleep? 
My wife gets steamed, saying we never talk anymore. She got some, she's got no idea what I'm going through. And you can't even talk to her about it. You don't talk anymore. My teacher told me there's been a lot of kidnappings these days. But I already heard the same thing from him yesterday. And the day before that, too. That's a bit odd. Random old man? Hello there, my my, you look like a pleasant young'un. What are you doing at his shrine, though? You don't look like the prayerful type. Me? Well, I've come a long way to pray to the god here. He's a strong one. The offertory box and the written oracle are both good for your fortune. Then there's the Nari san by the red gates. Whew! Some crazy things might happen if you pray to him. But you have to pray for a long time. It's no problem for me, but some people's schedules are too busy. Interesting. Recall how it works. Remind me. Help! When you join hands and wish in front of the small shrine, you can give away one of your skill cards and receive two in return five days later. But I do, if I recall, that also takes up a, like a slot. Divine tree. It's a huge tree, but I don't remember recognizing it before. Like, I'm sure there's, like, a lot of things you can actually do at the shrine that are, like, good for optimization, and I'm just a fool. Then again, maybe that, like, prayer for a card thing doesn't take up a, a time slot, but I could have sworn there was, like, another thing that was similar that did take up a slot. Because that's what this game's all about. Time management. I'm going to quickly check the roof, just in case. Is this guy still going on about yeah, the ghost stories? Then I guess... Hmm. The two people we can hang out with right now are Sayori and uh, Junpei. And I don't know. Probably Sayori to try and nudge up our, like, uh, social link energy a little bit. And then try and focus on Junpei later, maybe? I don't know. Because nobody approached me for lunch, but I don't exactly know how to, like, uh, what's the word? Like, I don't think if you just, like, don't interact with her, you passively get, enter like, points towards it. You have to, like, hang out with her to get progress it at all. But, yeah, I think we'll hang out with Sayori because we're close-ish to finishing, but, like, hmm, that is a thing, though. I wonder how long it'll take me to, like, fully do it. But let's do it, because it'll probably just be a, oh, hey, you increased your bond a little bit and not an actual upgrade one. But let's see. Hey, Neon-chan, there's a committee meeting today. Since I have Naga, it should all be good. Attend the meeting. You know, I just realized something. The devs could have been really mean if they wanted to. What they could have done is made it so that, like, certain arcana, like, what's the word? Like, certain arcana didn't work well together. So it's like, imagine if you were, like, carrying around one type of arcana, like, persona. And then, like, you try to hang out with them. It gives you the warning. Warning. You have a persona that conflicts with them, which might harsh the vibes of the meat. But that would probably be very complicated. Like, it would, it would add complication to already a time management heavy game. Well, let's -a go. Yakuken High Library. You did your duties as a library member. 
Theon Chen, can you find a book on Shelf A3 for me? An announcement is being made. Please pardon the interruption. Sayori Hasegawa of Class 2C, Neon Icy of Class 2F, please report to the faculty office at once. Well, why is this? Why are we being called in? They're calling for us? The real question is, why couldn't they just send somebody? Why couldn't they just, like... Yeah, like, send somebody to grab us. That seems very... I don't know. Public shamey. Do you have any ideas why? No. I'm surprised you could waltz in here without any sense of shame, Hasegawa. What's the meaning of this? Mr. Ikota slams a magazine on the desk. A large headline reads, The continued corruption of our nation's youth, rampant sexuality, and jihai. Huh? This is your picture, isn't it? There's a photo of the article. There's a black bar over the eyes, but it look, does look like Sayori. What is this? The name has been changed to Shiori Nagatani. That's hardly changed anything at all. What's going on? I'm not even going into the filth in this article. Some brainless journalist must have talked to you. Ah, I guess like... But still, that's the terrible journalism on their part didn't defend, <laughs> protect her identity at all. Even, like, just p getting a picture of her and then putting black bars over the eyes. Like, reverse Batman. Or, I guess, reverse Robin in that case. You quickly skim over the article that Mr. Koda threw on the desk. It seems this Shiori Nagatani is openly talking about the nightly activities all the girls participate in. I never... Another student from this school brought this to my attention, saying my school's reputation is ruined. She also made a report on you. Hasegawa's son makes sexual advances toward male classmates, uses vulgar language behind our backs, and she's never interacts with us because she thinks she's superior to the rest of the students. In other words, your reputation is terrible. I'm not surprised you're stupid at doing something like this. I don't know what your nightly activities, but you can't go around causing your school trouble like this. This affects not only you, but your guardians and the people around you as well. Anyway, it's been decided that you're going to be suspended. Do you understand? I... Hmm. Because the thing is, it's entirely possible... Like, on the one hand... Cause, I don't know. I don't think, like, Sayori is really... What's the word? Would really do that. Like, even to, like, harsh the vibes of the school at all. Really, again, with, like, the fake name that was barely a fake name and the picture being in there. More than likely, this is just a shame piece on Sayori. Probably for daring to hang out with that one girl's man. Probably. Hmm. I'm gonna say you've got this all wrong. Zip it, Icy. The important thing here is how this article reached the general public. You think you can change that, hmm? We have to make an example for the other students and their parents. There must be punishment. Your parents told us to be careful about you. Now I see why. You have such wonderful parents, Asagawa. Well, why are you doing this to them? You both left the faculty office and decided to go home for today. I'm sorry, Neon-chan. If you stay near me, you're going to lose any reputation you had. Hmm. While that would be interesting, more than likely, like, I don't know. Because I don't, like, again, it could go either way. Like, maybe she was approached by, like, I don't know, an interview was like, Hey, what's going on in the school? And she answered honestly. Or it could just be a shame piece to try and get back at Sayori for some reason. But I'm going to say don't worry about it. Because in the end, it, we don't really need to know if it's real or not. I don't believe it. Thank you. Sayori trembles. That article's a lie. I didn't say anything. But I did let a photographer take a picture of me. He said it was for an article about the straight-edge lifestyle in today's high school students. He wanted a shot with me in my uniform. Look what 4,000 yen got me into. Hmm. 
because really, if you're approached like that, you wouldn't really think about it too much, maybe. Especially if it was for an actual magazine. I don't know. Hmm. What would be the better question to ask? Would it be, why did you uh, do such a thing? Feels a bit, like, accusatory. Maybe, didn't you suspect this? No, I didn't even cross my mind at all. A girl in my class asked if I'd be willing to do an easy job. I didn't really want to do it, but I didn't care. Maybe I just wanted to help her out. Maybe I just wanted a friend. <laughs> Harsh. I really am older than everyone now. When I was younger, everyone said that I was more mature than the kids around me and wouldn't have young friends. But adults were kind and treated me well. But everything was a lie. Everything. Like when they said things like, I love you. Sayori smiles, but appears to be on the brink of tears. I acted just how the adults around me wanted me to act. All I had to do was smile and stay quiet. As long as I did that, they'd call me cute and be happy with me. It's too late now. I don't know how to stand on my own anymore. I'm too scared. Hmm. Definitely not going to say everyone's alone. That's a bit pessimistic and doomer. It's between I'm with you or I'll root for you. Decisions, decisions. I'll say, I'm with you, Neon-chan. Sayori's lips tremble. You feel like you understand a little bit about what Sayori is going through. Still don't know why I was called in there. Which is extra hilarious. I'm sorry for dragging you into this mess. I... I know I shouldn't be feeling this way, but part of me is happy and thankful that you were with me. I probably wouldn't be able to endure this myself. Well, that's dark. Ominous. Hope it doesn't lead into anything. Now to the command room. The chairman and Fuka are sitting here along with the others. The color has returned to Fuka's face since her You're ordeal. Fuka Yamagishi, right? You brought her all this way into the weirdo command room we have before confirming her identity? But more than likely, this is just him breaking the ice and be like, ah, I'm going to ask who you are, and then I'll tell you who I am, probably. Yes. <laughs> Relax. There's no need to be nervous. Why don't you have a seat? Oh, thank you. Everyone, you did an excellent job uncovering the truth. The truth of the mysterious school goings on. I also want you know, to let you know... <laughs> It, you know, it actually took us a bit longer than it should have to come to the conclusion that weird ghostly goings-on at the school were connected to Tartarus. Considering that is the closest thing to ghostly supernatural stuff that we already know about, and it's happening at the school. The three girls have all regained consciousness. That's good. What a relief. From what I understand... They each came to school around midnight and waited for the security guard to leave. The security guard leaves around midnight? Like, what? Is the security guard in on knowing that Tartarus exists and doesn't want to be there at midnight? Or do they just... Or maybe it's part of the job description. Like, whoever's in control of the school knows that Tartarus happens at midnight. So they only have a security guard stick around till midnight and then they, or like before midnight and then they leave. But just very specific concerning what's going on there. They were attacked by shadows near the gate as the dark hour began. And considering that the attacks happened closer to the full moon, I guess it could be rationalized that they didn't go into Tartarus, but shadows like came out. However, to get the facts became twisted because of rumors concerning a ghost story. I mean, it's not like the truth would have, like... Like, there isn't really much truth to the outside world. It's just girls went to school at midnight and became comatose. 
You can't go up to him and say, actually, it was because at midnight, a secret dimension thing sh shows up at the school with evil monsters in it that actually took him out. I knew right from the beginning that it wasn't a ghost. It's all my fault. Not really. If anything, it's because they locked you in the gym. Are you kidding? You were the victim. But I made so many people worry. Doesn't change the fact that they were the ones to lock you in a gym. Hey, don't think like that. We could have lost that fight if you weren't there. Indeed. You saved our lives. You should feel good about yourself. You did good. Acting on instinct. <laughs> Again, it's just... Like, I guess she was following us a bit, I think, at the end, right? I forget, like... No, because we went through a section alone... And then we met up with everybody again. I forget if there was any combat after that. No, I don't think so. So the question is, how did Fuka know, just on instinct, to pull out the not gun and shoot herself with it to activate her persona? The wonders of just instinct, I guess. You have a special power that you can use to help others. A special power? Yeah, again, when you put the knot gun to your head, pulled the trigger, and summoned a ghost thing that encased you in a bobble. We call it Persona. You could be a tremendous help to us. Will you lend us your strength? I feel like we should inform her more about what's going on. Like, hey, here's what's going on. And then ask her. I feel like I got a like a better description of what was going on before they tried to recruit me and they were monitoring me are you asking me to join you that's correct mitsura senpai i think you'd make a good addition to the team too akihiko senpai you know we're not trying to pressure you so if you need some time to think about it let me guess she's immediately gonna say yes i'll do it i knew it i'll help you are you sure if you join you'll have to live here that's fine I'd rather live here than at home anyway. Ominous! That's... Uh, considering that she says at home... Actually, that's another thing. Why does a high school have a dorm anyway? Or... And I think there were, like, other dorm mentions as well. Then again, it could be a Japanese thing. We really appreciate this. Or maybe it also could be that Gekuken is, like, prestigious... So they can afford, like, dorms for students coming in from far away, maybe? That could be it. We'll have the school talk to your parents to resolve any issues. And luckily we have the chairman who can help us with that. Thank you. Wait a minute. Aren't we dragging her into this a bit fast? I mean, no faster than me, really. Because I wasn't really told about anything, and then... Along came the shadows. She uh, she at least got an evoker ahead of time. I had to pick up, like, y Yukari's dropped one to fight the weird shambling pile of limbs. Um, it's okay, really. I mean, it'll be nice to have two other girls in my grade around, too. <laughs> Wonder what one's to do. Th Remember I'm your senpai feels kind of a comedic one. I'll say, welcome aboard. Oh, yes. I hope I can prove myself useful to you all. That's a bad mindset. <laughs> like, it'd be one thing if she said, I hope I can help you guys with this. It's an entirely another thing to say, I hope I can prove myself useful. That doesn't sound good. Yeah, that's the spirit. Now then, those special shadows showed up again. Yep. We still don't know where they're coming from. But Akihiko is right about one thing. It doesn't seem like they're coming from Tartarus. Because Akihiko was chased by the shadows to the dorm on the first full moon. Then the train car was like taken over by the weird birthing shadow on the second. Well, I guess technically the first real one that we interacted with. So it does seem like they... It seems like the shadows of the full moon form outside of Tartarus. 
rather than leave. Although the idea of the shadows, like, wandering all the way to the, the train just to hijack it amuses me as a mental image. Like, the giant lady shadow from the first full moon wakes up in Tartarus and goes, I need to go crash a train! And just jogs on out. Their appearances seem to coincide with the full moon. We'll take that into consideration from now on. You know, I just realized I have yet to tell anybody about the Yuri Lowenthal child who gave me the, the contract. I think I did mention, like, at one point, like, oh, hey, the velvet room door, and nobody else can see it. Kind of odd that I haven't told... Actually, come to think of it, the velvet room is kind of like a mini dark hour. Because... I think I w stepped into the Velvet Room and then stepped out and they thought like, oh hey, you just blinked out there for a second. So it's like, time moves strangely there. So they're kind of like werewolves then, huh? Not really. Maybe. It's a big advantage for us to know when to expect them. Like, at the very least, I could have told everybody, hey, I have a bad feeling about the full moon. Maybe the shadows get cranky then. I didn't say anything. Now. On the day of the fight, we'll be ready to get in the ring. Huzzah. <sighs> I wonder why Yukari wasn't happy with that. Hmm. Then again, she she's the least fighty ever, of everyone so far, so... Maybe she just doesn't like the idea of fighting super beasts. The Cease team has deduced the pattern to the appearance of the gigantic shadow, something that I've known since the beginning, because of Yuri Lowenthal Child. Could this be what that boy who keeps appearing before you was talking about? I feel like there were enough things pointing to it for me to, like, get, uh, like, some kind of sense. Maybe I could have passed it off as, like, my attunement to the Dark Hour and be like, Hey, guys, I have a bad feeling that something's gonna happen soon. Even if I didn't know it was the full moon, like, in-universe. It seems you need to be wary of the coming of the coming of the full moon from now on. For some reason, reading that was weird to me. It's the of the of the that tripped me up. I always love the music. It seems like Fuka was forced to join us, even though in the end it was her choice. I don't feel good about this. Was it really forced? Because... While Mitsuru did say something like, Oh, you'd be a real big help to us. And Akihiko said, I think you'd be a good help to us. I feel like she was very gung-ho on her own. I don't know. Dude, she's the exact opposite of Yucatan. Smart, nice... Yukari is plenty smart. And also plenty nice. Just because she's mean to you doesn't mean she's not nice. Great, a new type! <laughs> that all you think about? Don't say it like that. It's proof that I'm normal. This is what being in high school is all about. Not really. We achieved new powers and learned new information about shadows. Today was a great day for all of us. Hmm? Oh, I asked Mitsuru Nakahiko to walk Fuka home. She shouldn't be walking home alone, especially because it's the evening. Don't want her to be trapped outside in the dark hour since she has a persona. Don't want shadows to come for her. Granted, it's not the dark hour, so... Wouldn't be... Or, like, it's not, uh... Da -da -da. It's not in time for the full moon, is what I meant to say. So even if the dark hour happened, it probably wouldn't be horrible, terrible. We turn on the television. Japan's lunar probe completed its two-year observation at 3.25 a.m. today and made a controlled landing on the moon. The probe investigated various features of the moon and contributed much to our understanding of its surface. Intriguing. I wonder if there was, like... Because I forget when Persona 3 was originally made. So that would be interesting to know, like, if that actually did coincide-ish 
with like estimated when a Japanese probe to the moon was gonna launch or something. The monk man is here. We can either talk to the monk man or talk to what was his name? Tanaka. <laughs> weirdo, weirdo, weirdo Tanaka. Who threatens me with pizza. But I really like the monk, even though I keep forgetting his name like a fool. So we'll probably hang out with you, my dear man. Mutatsu. Oh, it's you. Mutatsu seems to be drinking by himself. Because we still don't have a tower. We'll hang out with him and then... Hopefully then we can go do Tartarus Delving next evening and try to find some tower bait. <laughs> what a strange kid. Mutatsu seems amused. I was just thinking you might show up and here you are. Hey, I don't get me wrong, kid. It's not like I was looking forward to seeing you or anything. Still, your skin's shiny. What are you putting on it? It's damn bright. Well, in terms of brightness, my head won't lose. Why don't you give it a try, the bald look? I don't know. I, like... I myself don't think I could put off, pull off bald. But, like, my player character definitely couldn't, I don't think. It would seem a bit odd. Like, I feel like sh she'd have to wear, like, monk robes to make it really pull off. That'd be a bit odd, if you think about it. I'm trying to think. I've always wanted to try that or that will never happen. Which one would I want to do? Hmm. I guess we could, like, play along. Because that would be amusing to some degree. I've always... <laughs> I think he'd find that amusing. I've always wanted to try that. I like that earnest answer, kid. Looks like you get 20% of what I'm saying. Mutsatsu seems amused. I'm not talking about fashion here. I'm saying you'd be better off without your hair. Oh, sure, you're young and good-looking now, but just wait. I mean, look at me. I'm old and ugly. My cheeks sag like a damn bulldog's. That's life, kid. People get old. Someday, you'll be just as old as me. If I'm lucky, you're probably a hundred. You'll look in the mirror and think, those were the days. Here's a little trick so you don't lose hope in the future. Just don't expect nothing. Simple, eh? And that way, you won't ever be disappointed. You're gonna turn into bones one day, so I bother with it all now. If you weren't so wet behind the ears, we could have had more of an adult's conversation. I wish you could have been ten years older when I met you. You felt Mitsatsu's twisted kindness. You understand Mutsatsu a bit better now. He is an interesting little guy. With that, <laughs> I wish you were older just so we could have had a more in-depth conversation. Which is interesting. Well, at least when I actually create a tower persona, it's gonna be bussin'. You are getting sleepy. What? Is all my talking putting you to sleep? Well, you can't sleep here, kid. Go home. You decided to go back to the dorm. I've recovered from my cold. <laughs> Morning. Hey, Neon. What do you think about Fuka? Hmm. I'm gonna say she is very helpful. You think so? I mean, yeah, her persona ability is great and all, but doesn't it kind of seem like she was forced into join us? Again, I don't think so. She was brought, like... Like, initially it felt like we were kind of rushing to like, oh boy, can't wait to bring her in. We even got an evoker made for her and everything, but considering she saw what was happening, I don't think it is her, her being like forced into joining so much as she herself feels obligated to because she felt like she was the reason why the bullies got thrown into comatose by the shadows 
because she kind of blames herself for it. So really, I feel like we should worry about her mental state over feeling like, like, yeah, that's the thing. She isn't being forced. She's kind of forcing herself. She isn't thinking, what do I want out of this? She's thinking, what should I do? I'm guilty of being the reason people were hurt. I need to stop that, so I must throw myself into danger. That's the kind of vibe I'm getting. I hope she'll be okay. Hopefully. Game, don't hurt Fuka. She's nice. Gakuken High School, Classroom 2E. It's playing the tense music. That's not good. Hey, did you hear? What is it, nose girl? Dakota's in hot water. Dakota? Oh yeah, that guy. The kind of teacher man. Why is he in hot water? Really? What'd he do? I don't know, but it must be serious. Sexual harassment. Well, that's just jumping to conclusions. If you don't know, you don't know. Maybe he ate five million birthday cakes in, in the faculty room and made a mess of things. Granity is kind of a jerk, but who knows. Good, good morning. Wait, did, did Fuka transfer to my class, or was she always in my class? And we just never met her. Hey, look. It's the ghost girl. Silence knows. Quiet, she could hear you. Fuka, you in here? Moriyama-san? I heard you started living in the dorms. Yeah. You seem so depressed. That's mean. Why is she depressed? It's only been one day. Let me know if you need someone to talk to. But that's nice. Good job, Natsuki. We could probably use a friend, huh? Moriyama-san. She has jumped up the ladder of being a good person. Oh, come on. Just call me Natsuki. Thank you. Yay! Ominous music, but happy ending. It's finally time for lunch, Sayori. No, cause. Maybe Rio? Who's gonna jump out at me? It's Friday. Oh, Rio! Oh, Neon! Oh, yeah, we are. We have practice today, huh? Are you going? I plan to. Huh? Okay, I'll, I'll see you later then. Huh. I'm not sure what to make of that. Like, she didn't seem bad, but hesitant. Why hesitant? That makes me want to know. Why the hesitance? Did something happen? Did she garner the, like, what's the word? The courage to talk to Kenji, I believe his name is? And was he an asshole? He was probably an asshole. But hey, Junpei. Is Akoda, is Akoda Fuka's teacher? Like, I guess we weren't even in there, I guess. And that was just from Fuka's perspective? That doesn't happen that often. That's happened, like, once before that I can recall? No, because we did jump back to seeing Natsuki, like, leave the dorm room on the night of the full moon. So he can jump around. It's just like, <laughs> normally when we go into the classroom, I expect it to be my classroom. So that could be my thing. Is Akoda Fuka's teacher? I just saw him, and man, he looks like the world's about to end. Did something happen? Oh, Neon, heading home? Yep, see ya. Not yet. What about you, still on rumors? Oh, it must suck to be a bully. You have to pretend to be nice so no one gets suspicious. And if someone finds out, you'd have to be even nicer to him. That's like the light Yagami approach to bullying. You know how Akihiko-senpai is always with Mitsuru-senpai? Even Akihiko-senpai's fans can't stand up to Mitsuru-senpai. She's special, it's not fair, but there's nothing we can do about it. She's the only exception, though. You and Yukari-san are a different story. What's that mean? Are you calling me a plain bitch? No difference there, so I'll go outside the station. Yes, I did here. Still on the same thing? Let's see, am I good or am I still sick? I am good. Considering that we got jumped by Rio, it's Friday, not Saturday, so we don't need to go and buy diddly Ds. Well, I guess we saved, so let's go for Rio. Oh, uh, hey. Yeah, it's club time. Let's go. 
I do not like the stuttering, but let's go to practice. You know, I just realized they also could have been a lot harsher with the time constraints in this game. Like, imagine if they designed it so that social links, like, didn't upgrade on, like, by spending time with them and getting, like, uh, the best answers to their, like, dialogue. And instead they were, like, set days and, like, these big important events in story would happen even if you weren't there for them but i feel like that also would be very like taxing on like the programming of things it's far simpler to be like characters available these days here's a milestone of points to get to and this scene plays after you get to those milestones and you hang out with them rather than setting up complex twisting paths of you hung out with them you didn't hang out with them on these important days but, Gakuken High Gym, you sweated it out with the other club members. Ryo seems somewhat dazed. You want us to start practicing our serves next? Oh, sorry, what was that? You're really out of it. Jeez, you haven't been con concentrating at all, Ryo. Huh, s sorry. We're not getting anything done like this. <laughs> Amazing how it just completely flipped. All of you guys were missing for like six or five social links, and now you come in here and be like, we're not getting anything done. My dude, you you were the ones making it that we couldn't do anything for the longest time. I mean, if you're not gonna act like your normal self, this might be the worst club at this school. Make up your mind. Look who's talking. Come on, don't fight. We're not fighting, you dope. Pay attention. It's because of Kenji, isn't it? You haven't gotten over him. Yeah, she's right. Come on, nothing ventured, nothing ganged, right? It's got to be better than moping around. You mean I should go tell him that I like him? Rio glances towards you, confused. I do think that they're all being hypocrites right now. Like, again, they're the ones that beforehand that made it so we couldn't get things done. But on the one hand, kind of nice that they're like, if you're not your usual self, this sucks, but in a kind of meh way. Mm. Let's see. This is your decision or we're here for you if he says no. I'm gonna go with this one. We're here for you if he says no. We've got your back, girl. This is the volleyball club. We'll spike his head if he says no. Neon. Rio smiles and looks ready to cry. I, I feel like I'm stuck in one place and I can't move an inch. I hate that about myself too. But I don't know what to do about it. Ah, that's kind of relatable. I know that I'm going to be hurt and it scares me. But it has to be better than where I am right now. Well, you're stronger than me, Ryo. I'm sure it won't be as bad as drowning in these feelings I have. I'm gonna go tell him. Honestly, like, again, better than me. I could never bring it. Are you gonna go tell him? I'm gonna say, that's the spirit! Yeah, I'll do my best! Rio smiles. Well then, I'll be back! <laughs> well, it's going right up! <laughs> going very fast! They're like, huh? We're not gonna play more volleyball? <laughs> huh? You're going now? Well, you're the ones that did this. You're the ones that encouraged this initially! Rio darts off. The club members stand around, looking at each other. Hi, I'm here about the club's funding forms, but what's the matter? You told Yuko about the recent turn of events. S seriously? You think she'll be okay? Hmm, let's go see how she's doing. Hopefully we don't find her on the roof with wire cutters. You all leave the gym to find Ryo. So, what do you think about me? Ryo and Kenji are talking to each other in the hall. This is even a hall! This is... Uh, this isn't a hall, it's like a pathway that resembles a hall out in the kind of this grassy... What do you call this? Like a, a mini park? Also, do not want to be here to hear this, because it could go entirely bad. Could go entirely horrifically bad, you know? 
leg. This could go good. This could go bad. Hope by... Because I just do not see Kenji... Like... Being good. But let's see! Ryo and Kenji are talking to each other in the hall, but it's not a hall. You all decide to watch from behind the door. Uh, like family? D do you like me? Huh? Yeah? That guy's hopeless. Hang in there, Ryo. How much do you like me? Uh, about as much as ramen. If you were Naruto, that would mean something, Kenji, but you are not Naruto. Ramen? Are you serious? I'm not sure if this will be better or worse. Yuko jumps out from behind the door. Like what? Is, is this like a mini, well, I was going to say love triangle, but it's not a love triangle, it's a love line. Like, does Yuko also have feelings for Ryo, while Ryo has feelings for Kenji, and Kenji has feelings for the cougar? Whoa, what the? You got some nerve, Kenji. Poor Kenji. No idea what's going on. But at the same time, also not so poor Kenji because he's, again, aiming for the cougar. Huh? What the hell are you talking to her? What the hell are you telling her? I'm going to smack that goofy look off your face. <laughs> uh, I've got some business to take care of, ladies. We interrupted it. Kenji runs away. At least, like, the volleyball team and Yuko have Rio's back. But also gotta say... Rio, that was not, like, telling him how you feel. That was you kind of beating around the bush. Seriously? That moron? You, you guys, you were listening? Uh, sorry. We were all worried about you. Try and cheer up. Okay, just the, the flow of that line feels weird. Sorry, we were worried. Get over it. <laughs> Sheesh, what the hell was that idiot thinking comparing you to something like a bowl of noodles? No, you don't get it. Ramen is his favorite thing in the world. Uh, maybe Kenji is Naruto. No kidding? If he likes me as much as he likes ramen, I'll be happy. Granted, that's not him telling you that he likes you in that way. But that does mean that you are important to him. But, again, because he said, like, <laughs> in the first part, what do you mean, like family? Jeez, you dope. Huh? What? Why do you look like you're about to cry, Yuko? I don't know. Neon, thanks for giving me the extra push I needed. Rio laughs and she looks much better now. It seems you were able to support Rio. Please be a happy ending. Because all of the other ones are kind of depressing to some degree. Like, except for Tanaka and the monk. But, like... So far, well, and also Junpei, but like all the ones I've been going down, well, maybe de Junpei's will get depressing midway through. Because like all of them are like somewhat depressing, the ones that I've been going through. Sayori's been depressing. Like even a bit of Rio's was depressing with how everybody kind of like was like, ah, you're being very hard on us because this is a volleyball club and we don't want to play volleyball. And then we're gonna mock you and degrade you and then run away for, like, days on end. But, like, Sayori's has been depressing basically every step of the way. Uh, the little girl at the shrine's social link has been depressing. The old couple's is kind of depressing. And it's, we basically know it's gonna end with the persimmon tree getting cut down. Although that makes me wonder... What would happen if I just bolted down the old couple's, like... Well, maybe. Because, like, on the one hand... If it is going to end depressingly for the old couple, the tree will be cut down. But if this is a scene this late into another character's social link... Maybe it won't be cut down because then they didn't wouldn't want to like mess with it. So maybe the old couple will have a happy ending. Or maybe it'll swerve out of nowhere and one of them will die in a car crash. Maybe. Mm. Like I don't know. I cannot tell the vibes with this game. The vibes are everywhere all at once. <laughs> it's just 
mad. Mad indeed. All of it. I just cannot get a read on the vibes of this game. Well, why don't we call today's practice over and go to Wuck? What the hell's Wuck? Sounds like a plan. Tell you what, Rio, I'm buying. <laughs> I'm buying you a milkshake. <laughs> awesome. Well, at least, unless there is a last minute depressing swerve, things should be good for Rio. Because even if he, like, lets her down harshly, like, I don't think he'd do that if Rio's assessment is correct and he does care for her a lot, just maybe not as a love interest. So, I don't foresee anything bad happening for Rio. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. You and the volleyball club enjoyed a meal at Wild Duck Burger. Oh, <laughs> it's a shortening of Wild Duck. Walk. Never heard that before. Then you return to the dorm. Well, after Sayori's, I'm happy that things weren't bad. Are we still banned from Charteris? They're getting Fuka's room ready on the third floor, but no guys allowed. It's cool, though. I'm just glad she's coming. She'll be here tomorrow, you know. Which means maybe tomorrow we can go do Tartarus stuff. We don't hurt nobody. Mitsuru and Fukari are up. Uh, Fukari? My brain was just like, ah, oh, we're talking about Fuka. And then Yukari pulled up. Mitsuru and Yukari are on the third floor, getting Fuka's room ready for her. They're cleaning it up, you know, dusting and mopping. They said they call us if there are any cockroaches that need to be killed. <laughs> Can fight f shadows, but not cockroaches. I heard Fuka's teacher, Mr. Akoda, got in a lot of trouble. It must have been because of Mitsuru Senpai. Scary, huh? Beware the power of Kirijo. Kirijo. Well, I mean, it is a bit of nepotism because she is related to the top of the, like the people that own that the school, right? Or like some business. I forget exactly. This is what happens when you play a game over the course of weeks. Going into the rainy season, we've got an unusual clip to show. What you're seeing is a prototype of an artificial rain generator for a country like this where water is becoming scarce. Ominous, in a way. Ah, oh, they're just standing out here. I apologize for not being able to go to Tartarus two days in a row. Isn't it more like three days in a row? But preparing for Yamagishi's move has taken a lo taken longer than I anticipated. Was it that difficult when you first moved in here? Unlike for the boys, there are many things that need to be prepared when a new girl moves in. That room is filthy, even though no one's living in there. Please don't let there be any cockroaches. Well, I guess if that's that, then we'll just head to the town. Do, 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 do. Always check the bulletin board. There's nothing posted to it. See if the monk is here tonight. He is. Hmm. I have 14,000. Let's see what's going on at Game Panic. See if there's any, like... There's Horror House, but that would increase my courage, and my courage is the most thing going on. I guess we can check the police station, see if there's a sale. Oh, you got some new things to look at. Oh, Mitsuru can be bought for. Understandable that she has a rapier. Ah, great. That means that she has all the, all the things... She's gonna be terrible to buy for! Da -da 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 -da. Master's garment. Only masters may wear this. Well, she does. Well, I don't know what she has. First, let me see if there's anything to really sell. 
that down. So Kyushi Naginata. Because I don't think, like, these weapons mean anything. But I guess I won't sell, like, the immediately below of my currently equipped. That way I can get a bit of money recouped. See if there's anything in here worth selling. Da -da -da. Hmm. I wonder if I should just sell the odd more... Sh well, I'll sell one. Well, I don't know. Because hmm. I don't know if the like, quests will come up for them or not. And again, I should use these on someone. Homunculus. I wonder if you have to use it. Probably. But I guess I'll go to the equipment. Mitsuru. She has a simple rapier, a ruffled blouse, knee-high boots, and fancy nails. Let's see. Oh, but I guess we could also look and see, like, what your persona is for combat. Oh, hey. Interesting. In my excitement, I just completely lost everything. Lucia. Displays detailed enemy information. Increases information displayed in the target. Level 32 can't come any faster. And also, no... Well, I guess it makes sense. No combat anything. It's interesting that we're, like... Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Ooh. Does this mean that... Fuka is going to level up with us? Oh, wait, no. Bare hands. Because huh. she has items, but she doesn't appear here. Interesting. I guess because... Potentially, because again, my thoughts are... Fuka is going to have the like ability to level up alongside us, even if she like isn't in combat. She'll be like our level upable, but she has HP and SP values. But she also doesn't appear in the equipment screen. Only time will tell. No reason to really get on up on everything. Well, not you. Mitsu oh, I, I completely forgot why I went to the status screen. Because I wanted to check out Mitsuru's persona. Penethesilia. She's Bufu, Ma Bufu, Dia, and... Marin Karen, charm. Ooh, and then an upgraded Bufu. Very nice. So we'll we'll have to look and see. We'll probably want to buy her a greater avoid to fire. But I guess since we're going to sell her fancy nails anyway, I'll give her the warrior seal for now. And basically, she needs... Well, actually, let's take a look at her stats. Mitsuru. So you're definitely a magic one, because you're... Because, like, his strength is 16, yours is 11, and you're the same. You're a bit more even, but you're definitely, like, a magic user. Meanwhile, <laughs> Akihiko is kind of across the board both. Same thing with Yukari. So I guess... Mitsuru is a Yukari kind of swap out. Hmm. 
just went more for combat than support. Right, and then we should also have like, let's see. Have a camo shirt, so we'll also be able to sell your ruffled blouse. Knee-high boots. Have high-tech sandals. And then we'll check and see what things we definitely need to sell for you. Or I could wait even longer and hope for a sale. What do you buy in style? Well, we can go ahead and sell things. Ba -ba -ba. Fancy nails. Da da da. Hmm. So let's check. Because for her, we could go for a chance to charm, but 30 less damage, but she's not a physical hitter. But then again, if she's not a physical hitter, and we're so desperate to physically hit, we'd want, like, damage rather than the chance to charm. Hmm. I guess we could look and see. see. Pierce Ward. Interesting. Hmm. That's on. Ah, here they are, the charms. For some reason, they just... I just completely glanced over the charms. But we definitely want to give you... The flame charm. If you're weak, because you're... You should be weak to that. Since she uses Bufu, her... Persona is good against good, well, good with ice, bad against fire, unless she's doing the hitting. I guess I'll go ahead and sell these bracers, but I'll keep the warrior seal because that seems pretty decent. Maybe if we have somebody that's weak against physical. Because hmm. let's see. This is 14 extra defense. Versus the camo shirt she are, I already gave her. Combat boots evasion is greatly increased versus the mechanical getta. Let's see, do I care to save like what the 800 yen? Because we haven't been running into that many like stumble situations. Meanwhile, I don't think... Like, the one thing is, I don't know, like, how defense is calculated. So I don't know how much of a difference 14 points of defense does. Da -da 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 -da. Meanwhile, 30 points of damage is a lot. It's just like... Do I care for the low odds of getting a charm on an enemy? I'm just going to get her the better one. Better to, like, quickly kill an enemy than banking on 
small chance for maybe, maybe getting a charm. Especially because I don't think, I don't know how, like, negative status things affect enemies all that much. And when it comes to enemies, usually I'll be, like, targeting their weaknesses anyway. On top of the fact that bosses in most games tend to be immune or recover really quickly from negative things anyway. But let's talk to Matatsu. Mo, oh, it's you. Seems to be drinking by himself. You know, I just kind of find it funny that a, a drunken, smoking monk comes to this kind of club to drink his sorrows away or whatever. Let's spend time with him. <laughs> what a strange kid. Your head's like a sponge, huh? You seem to just soak up everything I tell you. As you spend time with Tatsu, you bond with the two... The, uh, I completely misread that. The bond between the two of you grew stronger. You feel like your relationship will grow stronger soon. It's getting late. You decide to go back to the dorm. Oh, great. Ominous things. What will happen tonight, eh? Your room at the dark hour. Is Yuri Lowenthal gonna join me tonight? You've prevailed yet again. Look, at least tell me your name soon so I can stop referring to, as you, to you as Yuri Lowenthal. Do you remember what I said before? Shit was gonna go down. And we'll also need Fuka. Like, I think that was the thing that he told me. We're going to need Fuka more than Fuka's going to need us. Or About something like that. Coming to an end? Oh, yeah, you also said that. But this is like a video game that tends to be just like the baseline. The world's going to die. Yeah, that's why we're here. Well, I recalled something else. Like, I know I shouldn't be judging you as a suit because you're a supernatural Yuri Lowenthal child, but... For some reason, I just d do not buy that you'd, like, forget something. So I think you're intentionally fucking with me. I'm fairly sure that the end is inevitable. Like death? Is that what you mean? Because I don't think the world ending is inevitable. I'm fairly certain <laughs> that Persona 3 crosses over with future Persona games and, like, spin-off titles. Unless that's, like, alternate universe or, like, before the end. Not to mention, I know that FES and, like, Reload have the epilogue, the answer. So the world is not gonna end unless... Well, no, the world can end if you have an epilogue. Because that implies that that's after. And if the world ends at the end of the game, then there can't be an after now, can there? You're lying to me. But it's funny. Is the world gonna Looney Tunes fall off a cliff? Because that's the funny... It doesn't seem so certain, considering the vast potential within you. Okay, now you're just jumping all over the place. It's, the world's gonna end. It, by the way, it's inevitable. But at the same time, it doesn't feel inevitable around you. Make up your mind. As a matter of fact, your power seems to have changed quite a bit. Well, I've, gr I've grown a decent amount of personas inside me over the past few months. Hey, if you don't mind... Can I be your friend? Well, we did sign a contract. But I guess, like, sure, why not? You, you've, you're creepy, but you at least help me. You give me insight into things, and I don't, I, I doubt you're gonna become my enemy. I'm very curious about you. Is that okay? Slightly bit ominous and creepy, but sure. You, you just spawn in my bedroom anyway. Hmm. That'd be funny, aren't we fin friends already? That'd be a funny answer. Hmm. But I'll say of course. Then from now on, we'll be friends. My name is Pharos. Hmm. I wonder if there's any... What's the word? Implications to the name. Then again, I wonder if there's any implications... Okay, thought just hit me. <laughs> now thinking about the implications of names. But... Just thought of the implications of, like, uh, of any of the names, like, of the personas. Like, Hermes, that's a Greek god. Polydeuces, 
I don't know, like, if that's a Greek mythology. I know Polyphemus. So could Polydeusis be like a Cyclops? I don't think so. Never heard the name before, so I could be just completely wrong about everything. And then I think Yukari's persona is based off of one of the Greek mythologies of like a person turned into a bull as a favor to escape the like the pursuit of Zeus, I think. And then I don't know Mitsuru's. I, I don't know Fuka's. But mine is Orpheus. And we go into Tartarus. So, uh, I think something bad is going to happen with me going into Tartarus one of these days. Because the myth of Orpheus... Like, hell, maybe Orpheus was a real guy and they just got mythologized to a bit. Because Orpheus was a musician, like... I believe, like, a lyre player. Like, the uh, harp lyre. And he was, like, uh, deeply connected to... I forget her name. But uh, I forget her name. I think she was a... What was she? She was a nymph, I think. Or was she just a muse? I think she was a nymph, but she was also Orpheus's muse. But one day, either she died or just got taken to Tartarus. And Orpheus delved into Tartarus to get her back. And Hades said, she can leave, but you cannot turn back all the way there. She will be behind you the entire way. But should you look back before you leave Tartarus, she will be confined to Tartarus forever. And Orpheus in a haze of doubt, like, right before he escapes Tartarus, turns back. I forget, like, the reasons why. Like, why he doubted that she would be there. But that's the thing. And then later on, Orpheus got torn, to, torn apart by, uh... What was his name? The wine and party gods groupies. Which is kind of weird. So yeah, <laughs> bad things happen for Orpheus, and I don't think things are good. But I have no idea what Pharos is as a name, if that has implications. You may call me that if you wish. Sure thing, Pharos. Hilarious, I started this encounter t with like, Dear God, tell me your name so I can stop calling you Yori Lorenthal, and lo and behold, he better with Connect. You felt a faint bond with the mysterious boy named Pharos. Ah, you're a social link, aren't you? From what social link are you, Pharos? Death? Thou art I, and I am thou. Thou hast established a new bond. Thou shalt be blessed from creating personas of the Death Arcana. Again, death doesn't mean actual death, though. Death means, like, ends and beginnings, I think I completely forget. But I just do know that death, the card, does not one-to-one -one mean death. It has other meanings. It's getting late, so I'll go now. Sure thing. Pharos. I'm already looking forward to our next meeting. Good for you. Bye-bye. The -bye. saying that also sounds ominous. The way he disappeared, also ominous. Good morning, Icy. Yamagishi will be living in the dorm with us, and starting tonight, she'll be providing us with support during battle. So now I can rejoin the front line. Hmm. Good, you're reliable. Yes, you can depend on me. Even though I'm a bit out of practice, I will soon return to my prior form. Class has ended for today. Da -da. Always make a save, just in case things go crazy. Suck to be a bully, so no conversation change there. Nobody approached me. 
da 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 I just really love the music that plays in this game. It's a vibe. Have you heard the crazy rumor going along round line? You can get revenge on someone just by signing up on a website. You've heard of Death Note? Now, <laughs> now get ready for Death Page. Because, like, web page, but... I don't know, that amused me as a concept, even though it's not all that clever. Nothing there. Da, 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 da. Let us check the pharmacy. It's a sale day. I don't think that I need to buy anything. You know what? I'll buy more cat food. Maybe that's why I can't interact with the cat. I wasn't having enough cat food. That was on sale. We're having a sale. Anything new, man? Mm. Oh, really? Anything else you gotta say? Still going on about them there punks, are ya? Hello, dear cat. Why do I have all this cat food? <laughs> oh wait, that, that, that guy was new. Fairly certain. Hello, dear man. Man, I'm so lazy these days. Think I've got that apathy syndrome thing? I don't think so. Yeah, I guess it's just garden variety laziness. I think if you're apathy syndromed, you become mostly zombie like. Do I have any persona for you? Let me check. Uh, da, da, da. Girl at the shrine, I need hanged. I don't think I have a hanged persona. See if I can work at the movie theater. Wrong place entirely, I am a fool. Ba, 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 ba. I guess I'll just go hang out with the old couple. Even if it doesn't upgrade like my social link with them. It's been a bit since we've hung out with them. And last time we talked, they were happy because like a group of uh, students that were taught by their son were gathering together for a petition. It was like implied that we set up the, the, the petition and got that rolling. I don't know. I was not informed of this, but let's hang out with the old couple. You want a day? Strip mall, bookworms, use books. Welcome, Neon Chan. I've been waiting for you. I wanted to tell you the good news as soon as possible. It's about a customer who came by earlier. Who do you think it was? Here's a hint. Signature. <laughs> a fan of yours? But probably like a petitioner, I would say. Although, that would be the funny thing, but Petitioner? Did they get it to work? Oh, they pl please do not destroy the tree. Wow, I'm impressed. I thought a hint was too vague. But yeah, it was one of the organizers of the campaign to save the persimmon tree. Bunkichi seems cheerful. He said, let's protect the tree together. And he's gotten a lot of signatures from students who were in our son's class. <laughs> These are the same answer. It'd be hilarious if one of them was like 
completely wrong. Like, if you say that's great, it, it doesn't work. But if you do that's wonderful, you get bonus points. I'll just say that's wonderful. Min Many people want to honor his memory. He was loved by everyone. Of course. Of course. He was our proud son. I'm sure he's just as happy as we are. All right, Neon Chan, let's go to Gekokan right now. I have to tell my son the good news. I presume the let's go is the right answer. Now, the, no, let's go full speed ahead. Let's go. Sweet, that's music to my ears. Bunkichi seems really excited. I've never been so excited about a walk before. We're gonna get there and the tree's gonna be gone like magic, aren't we? Bunkichi and Mitsuko seem to have taken a liking to you. Your relationship is stronger now. Yay! Well, then again, I guess they were going to go to his grave less than his. The Persimum Tree. The Persimum Tree is just there to, like, a reminder. Hmm. But just, like, bleh. Like, I don't know. <laughs> but, hey, happiness. A little bit of brightness. Hmm. Now I'm come to think of it. Aside from, well, Sayori's is kind of like seven to eight right now, too. It's interesting that, like, Ryo and the old couple kind of share this. Things are normal. There's a stumbling block of sadness. And then things start to look up multiple social links in a row. I'm a bit worried. Hopefully there's at least a bittersweetness at the end. Like, maybe they go through with cutting down the Persimum tree, but everybody still gets together to remember their son, even without the tree. So it can be a living memory outside of the tree, not dictated with worry and stress at what the school could do with the tree and instead take the memory of their son into their own hands that they no longer have to stress about losing. Maybe. Let's race to the Persimum Tree. Ah, oh, they are going to go there. Let's race to the Persimum Tree from here. I won't lose, not even to a youngster like you. All right, dear, we'll be back. Thanks for watching the store. After visiting the Persimum Tree with Bunkichi, you decided to go back to the dorm. That's nice. Your cell phone is ringing. Hello, this is Elizabeth. I'm calling you to inform you of a change in Tartarus. I believe a path that was blocked is now open. I thought you would like to know. I wish you a safe journey. The call ended. Hi, how is your day? Hey, you're here with magical laptop powers. Um, since I'll be substituting for Mitsuru Senpai from now on, just tell me if you want to go to Tartarus. I'll do my best. Interesting. She actually takes over that part, too. I don't know why, but aside from Sayori, everything feels like it's going up. Like, things are going nice. I, w I swear, if every single social link has, like, aside from Sayori, has this similar... Things are kind of normal. Oh, no, stumbling block. Kind of depressed for a while. Things are good for a while. I'm not sure if I'll be able to handle it. Well, let's talk to everybody. I heard Fuka's teacher doing the same thing. I guess all that talk about Fuka being sick wasn't true. At first, people were saying that she was absent because she was being bullied. But then they started saying she was really sick. Strange, huh? She seems pretty healthy to me. Then again, we've only known her for a little bit. Hopefully bad things don't appear. Fuku wasn't supposed to come here until Sunday afternoon, but she really wanted to join us. I'm glad she wants to be part of the team. I'm looking forward to the next mission. I... I hope that Fuka doesn't... Actually, I just remembered. <laughs> I don't think Fuka's parents are good people. Because... Fuka was missing for a w 10 days and nobody brought it up 
Fuka was missing for 10 days. The school didn't report it. Her parents didn't report it. They're just like, oh, for the best of the students. We need to do that. We need to keep it under wraps and say that, oh, she's home or something. It's just very, very weird that her parents would let that happen. So I think bad things are at home. Mm. <laughs> just, th just thought about it. What about you, Mitsuru? Oh, Mr. Ikota's punishment? Well, there are some things in life you don't want to know about. This is one of them. Interesting. I think that Tartarus is a little unstable today. Accidents might be more frequent because of this. Watch out. Let's talk. Um, it's nice to see you again. They said I could move in on Sunday, but I decided to come a little earlier. I wanted to begin helping you all as soon as possible. But I didn't even have time to pack, so I don't have anything with me. Very interesting. Check everyone's status. Let's check the TV. Hi, I'm Trish. With today's installment of Who's Who, today's subject is a man in his 30s with sunglasses and long hair that reaches to his back. When I asked what he did for a living, he became upset. Hmm, why might that be? Next is news. Pain, pain, go away. Are you saying that people who wear sunglasses and have long hair don't have jobs? Judgmental news. But I do kind of find it interesting just like how much of this game is just the social link aspect. It's like very intriguing. Because lots of other games probably would feel almost scared to not, like, let the player have combat for, like, multi potentially multiple hours at a time. Sometimes even, like, what's the word? Like, enforced. Like, of course, the player themselves could choose to, like, not go into Tartarus, but it's just like, it's interesting. It's pretty, pretty interesting. But I think that will be it for now. Feeling a bit odd. But still, this is lots of fun. Hmm. And a part of me wonders if this is like the full main team. Because there are like if, like, my player character sat in that empty chair, that would round out everything. Then again, it could also be, like, I don't think we would. It would be kind of weird if, like, uh, we filled out the entire dorms of, like, recruitable, choosable allies. But I don't think they would. I think this amount, like, maybe one or two more, but even that seems pushing it. Like, five to six party members, including the player character, I think is the sweet spot. So you have some characters that you need to like pull in and out so that you can spread the experience. But yeah, I'm really liking this game. It's very interesting. The characters are nice. There is still the ever-present paranoia. The ever-present paranoia of the social links. Is bad thing gonna happen? Hopefully not. And again, the music is nice. I wonder what happened with Mr. Ikoda, though. It is weird, Mitsuru said. It's one of those things that you don't want to know about. Could be ominous. Hopefully this isn't one of those RPGs where a party member turns on you. But... I think that will be that for now. But yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you want more from me, I try to stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday, so long as brain is l allowing. And if you want more and more from me, my link tree, which is linked in the various link places, bios, and descriptions, linktr.ee slash neoniceywings, has links to everything that I do like edited YouTube content, streaming Twitch or YouTube, depending on your preference, if all of these 
YouTube's, well, all these streams being uploaded to the streaming YouTube channel after the fact for quality assurance purposes. And then also in the link tree are links to sites that I upload my art to, like my little character in the corner, as well as sites that I upload various stories I doth write. Because writing is fun and I need to do more of that, but brain. And finally, of course, is my Patreon linked there, which is basically a glorified donation bucket. But yes, but yes, thank you very much for joining me tonight, everybody. Just remember, be you, be true, be happy. But most importantly, be kind and stay hydrated. And thank you for spending your time with me. Bye-bye. <laughs>